In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers using what they call the lattice method. The lattice method has been around for some time, and it's just a different way of looking at multiplication. I'm going to walk you through two examples now, and at the end, I'll give you an example you can work through on your own. Example 1. What is 23 times 47? The first step in setting up the lattice method is to get our boxes and lines set up correctly. We have two digits in both of our numbers, so we will need two rows and two boxes of each. Above the top row of boxes, we put 2 and 3 for our first number. Down the right-hand side, we put 4 and 7 for our second number. The diagonal lines are drawn through each box. These diagonal lines will help in the final step isolate which numbers are in the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, and so on. We start from the top all the way to the right, and we multiply 3 times 4. The answer is 12, so let's talk about where that information goes. Only one digit can go on either side of the diagonal in the box. So, for the result of 12, you would place the 1 here and the 2 here. Next, we multiply 3 times 7. That result is 21, and just as we did before, let's put 2 on this side and 1 on this side. So that's the first column done. Let's move on to the second column. 2 times 4 is going to be 8. Since there is no tens value in this result, we would put 0 on the left and 8 on the right. Let's multiply 2 times 7. 1 on this side and 4 on this side. Now we've gone through all of our multiplication steps. The final step is to add up our results. But instead of adding columns like you would with traditional multiplication, we're going to add diagonally. So, the first diagonal, starting from the right, is just going to be 1. The next set of diagonals is 4 plus 2 plus 2, which equals 8. Next row of diagonals, 1 plus 8 plus 1, which is equal to 10. So for this one, we put the 0 down and carry the 1 into the next diagonal row. 1 plus 0 is 1. If we look at the numbers on the outside of the box, we can see 1, 0, 8, 1, which is our answer. 1,081. Let's try one more example, and then I'll give you a problem to work through on your own. You can leave your answer in the comments, and I'll let you know how you did. Example 2. Multiply 82 times 53. Let's set up our boxes with two columns and two rows. We put 8 and 2 on the top, and 5 and 3 on the right-hand side. 2 times 5 is 10. We put the 1 here and the 0 here. 2 times 3 is 6. We put the 0 in this section and the 6 over here. We multiply 8 times 5, which is 40. We put the 4 on this side and the 0 on this side. Finally, we multiply 8 times 3. We put 2 here and 4 here. Let's start adding them up. The first diagonal section is just 6, so we write down 6. The next section, 4 plus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 4. The next section, 2 plus 0 plus 1, which is 3. And finally, our last diagonal is just 4. 82 times 53 is equal to 4,346. So now that we've worked through two examples together, let's see if you can work through one on your own. I'm going to put a problem on the screen that you can work through and leave your answer in the comments. Let's see who gets it first. I have another video on multiplying more than two digits together using the lattice method. Check those videos out also, and see if you can't get the question at the end too. For more math tips and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and if you found the video helpful, maybe you can give it a thumbs up too.